Hi everyone, we are going to install the BPS server for the cPanel and WSM how to install it and we are going to be using this the hosting gear BPS server and hosting gear is a very good hosting provider you can buy the hosting and domain and everything if you want to buy hosting and domain from the hosting gear you can use our link you can find the description the link for the hosting gear you can buy it so let's see that in our desktop we can install the cPanel and WSM in hosting gear BPS server so let's back to there First of all, let me tell you how to buy a hosting server. So in this case, I'm buying a hosting server, a hosting BPS server which is KBM4. So this one for CPU and this is one I have already purchased. So now I'm going for the details of this virtual server and I'm going to setting this OS version of operating system. So I'm going to select the plain OS and you can select so lot of types of OS but this in hosting BPS, it's Alma Linux, so it is work good. So now click on same changes and it was done so now it was taking for some time so now we're going to changing this for the root access for the SSS so now it was the IP address is copying here now I'm gonna open my PuTTY server so now first of all I need to enter that IP address and then you can see it was providing us therefore asking for as a login requirement for information so the login requirement the login as a, it is a root by default and the password of SSS recently we set it so we have to enter there and then click on it you can see we have already entered into our server now we need to see that what is our directory for pwd it's for select checking the directory of the server where we are currently the positioning there so now i'm gonna see installing some command for before installing which is npm command and um command so for checking which is available for this bps server it was available for the um command so first of all i'm gonna make it um install so it was going on the other you install and I'm updating so install and update I'm making this and it's take a little bit of time so as you can see this right side one there there's something and it was done so now it was asking for for downloading this 273 MB for we're going to placing Y which means yes so it was taking to downloading one there so it will be take some time for downloading because it was depend on completely the speed of our internet services so let's wait for the few minutes now you can see it was completed now you can go forward to em install again for the pearl package and click on yes now it was going on the server installing on there so let's see it will take some time it was also completed now we're going to be using this em install curl so curl also needs to be installed for as requiring our the server requirement so now we're going to install in the cpanel so now first i'm going to for the cpanel documentation from the cpanel.net of docs so just going to here you can see a command line of this so just copy this now let's go to our terminal back and just paste it here now you can see here the cpanel is going one installation so now let's see you can see it was going continuous installation it will be by default the cpanel all requirement will be installed automatically so now let's see it was taking some time for because it will be take some so lot of files of downloading and installing the software and extension and by default and everything will be downloaded here if something is not so you can see it was completed successfully the cpanel and wsm as you can see it was completed so now we're closing that putty server from here now we're going to accessing this just copy this ip address now after ip address slash sorry ip address clone it is 20 so it is 2087 now we we'll just continue with the site because it is not ssl now I'm going to be selecting this advanced mode. It can be play with the advanced mode with our SSL. So now you can see here. So now we have to log in with our root access, which is our SSS access client we created one there. So providing these details, now it is going for the login details. And it was successfully login. The save panel area. Now I want to set up the basic terms and condition and click on continue. So here is the basic by default, the name server, and we're going to providing here email address and click on continue button. So as you can see it was requiring cpanel license we are going to purchase a license click on purchase button now it was asking for the term section condition the requirement of so we have to log in an account and we log in already now it was asking for the payment gated area now you can see the total amount is 12.79 so here i need to provide my card details so i need to provide it here and it was done we have made the payment and it was going for the license validation 
Now you can see the system has been updated the license and the CPAN WSM panel has been completely installed. Now we need some requirement variable and something for the basic system for basic web hosting management. We can see here what is we have the name server there. If we want we can change it. Just click on save changes. Now also we are going to do one more thing. So now let's back to there. So we are going to configure the IP address. So let's go back to our hosting server. Let's copy it and paste it here. And do the configure address. And do the same thing for the another one name server also. But by default as well as it's set it. But if you would need some time that another custom server. In that case you can configure it with that IP. Now we need to install some PHP variable and the PHP extension. So now we are going to for finding the section area of the software tools. Now go to this easy fc4 version. Now it is going there. Now we need to install something. So first of all let's load it. Click on customize. And you can see here the PHP version. So we need a required version which is PHP 7.4. So I am going to install it. And click on next. Now we need and some security extension for PHP which is iron cube loader so for php 7 and it is 10 version now click on next again go to next again now it was displaying that all the details that what the software we are going to installing this it will be details for the review on there so a review on there after reviewing this now click on provision button now it is going to start it and its provision will be started and it will be completed as soon as possible so let's wait for the provision to complete Now you can see it was completed. Now click on done. So we have finally completely set up the or double some basic requirement. Now we are going to create a cPanel account. Go to this list account area, create a new account, and now we need to provide here the domain address. So I'm going to provide a domain. Just type it here, and then username. So I can take a by default username that it's gonna be domain username and set a password and you must set a little bit of good strong password also so it was going one there and then we're going to provide here the email address is by default and click on create button so it was successfully created the cpanel now we're going to go to cpanel directly it will be logging us to the cpanel account now escape this button here so now i'm gonna see here this area the domain is already here and i'm gonna set Another thing for this our basic DNS record and everything we can also change it. Now we are going to setting that IP address for the domain. The hosting server IP address we have already copied previous. So I'm going to paste it here simply and click on save button. So for all the A records we are going to changing that IP. So it was done completely. Now we need one more thing which is basically so email delivery ability first of all to check and we need to verify this email delivery ability of the DNS record so we are going to for this the txt record area at the rate of we are going to keep it on there as usual as or we can keep it there is the domain name property and text property and the by default detail and then we can see that the SPF record also there we need to add this also as a txt record but we can see here an ST record so first of all I am going to delete it and then we are going to add it again just go to select txt again and name is by default and the txt value is which is we copied and pasted it so we have saved the successfully all the record so it will take some time now we need to add a ptr record which is the reverse dns record so for some cases if the mail is not working so in that case this ptr record will help us to deliver the mail so we are going to add this ptr record also with the same ip address on there so it was going first of all adding dns record and then we will add the ptr record now just go to our back to the management of our hosting your server and go to here the setting area now go to IP address now here you can see a set PTR record now enter the PTR record which is the server name by default or you can put that your domain so we are going to set this server name for the both PTR record so it was done it will be take some time for to update this in process of PTR so now it was done you can see all right now we can go back to there and check in now you can see that all the dns record for the email delivery ability has been verified and it was validated successfully all the ptr and the default record now we're going to open that file manager and i'm going to creating a simple file which is index.html for checking that it was proper it was perfectly working or not so i'm writing a hello world simply an h2 tag and hello world now it was done 
if the video now we're gonna open the website you can like this video now you can also see the hello world is successfully playing. Is playing here and if you want to get more videos just like this so you can subscribe our channel and press the bell icon so that you'll never miss any videos just like this